Hey, what's up guys? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So we are here at the trade deadline and what a great season it has been so far. 37, 17, and 8. Didn't quite hit those elite goals we want at the deadline. You know, 40 wins with sub 20 regulation losses, but we are quite close. When you look at it, we're second in our division behind the Avalanche. Blackhawks could be technically ahead of us if they won the three games that they have in hand. So we are a two or three seed right now. But we have a firm lead over the Wild as well as the Jets. So we're in really good shape. And, you know, we're getting certain good production from some places. But we were considering, or I was, yeah, we were considering, I was considering possible deadline moves. The only real quote-unquote fix or adjustment to this team that I can think of is something on the, uh, really the fourth line. Where I'm not super happy with, I mean, they don't have much production and they're relatively severely minus. So I was thinking of some kind of a grinder to pick up to also go with this line. You know, we have a two-way guy in Neighbors. We have a power forward in Caden Farmer. I was thinking maybe a grinder would do well with this line here. Now, we do have, obviously, Jano, who is very solid defensively. <laughs> like, ridiculously good defensively. That is an obvious choice. But I was also thinking, if there was something out there, a young grinder who would do well in that bottom six that I could maybe pick up. So I'm going to do some diligence on that, because Jeno obviously not going to be around forever. I just want to see if there's anything uh, available. Or is the minimum overall? Oh, can I not choose that? Or uh, age, age, Jesus. Age max. Let's say, like... 24 max. I doubt we're going to actually find too much. Uh, and pretty much nothing. Oh, the other Jack guy. <laughs> yeah, that's essentially it. Potential-wise, there's one. But they're, they don't help us for right now, right? So... These are good possibilities for the potential future. But Chicago's not going to give this dude up. Nor should they. Yeah, there's some okay stuff. Hello. Top 9, 76 at 19. In Philly. Oh my god! Could I grab this guy? Good lord. I mean, I, I know I can't... I can't play him in the NHL yet, but dude... I really want this guy. They don't want to give him up. They're listed as a seller, but he's a young guy, obviously. Which makes it a bit tricky on us. Because the guys I was thinking about sending out were going to be Jano and Bluger. But Jano, well, not Jano yet, but sorry, mostly Bluger. And I think I do that here. I know they don't want him, but this should get him. Technically, yeah. But as they're listed as a seller. Yeah, as they're listed as a seller, we got to give them something that they're actually interested in. So let's see what we have to give up that they are interested in. And that we are willing to give up, if anything... Sorovi. Swapping prospects. A guy with more upside, but farther away for a guy with less upside, closer. Yeah, I'll just go straight up for that. I know I could get other stuff, but they think they're ripping us off, which is exactly what we want. Take that, Danny Breer. So I'm very, very stoked about this guy. <laughs> incredibly stoked about this guy dude just he's essentially like Jano is incredible and this guy's essentially a mirror of Jano when it comes to his defensive ability he's got a sick physical game decent enough discipline 
Yep. I love him. Absolutely love him. Now he's gonna... Oh, crap. Was he actually... He was actually CHL, wasn't he? Yeah, he's actually CHL. So if we called up... We actually do need another player. I'd be willing to take another grinder if I could snag one from somewhere. Let me load up on a few. I haven't been able to really draft any. We could sign Harper, but he's kind of lower overall. I kind of want someone who can play in at least the A. There is Angfist, who's all right. Is does does he make it? Who the heck knows? But center grinder, that's pretty good. He's on his entry level. He's AHL eligible. Yeah, twenty one seventy one or twenty twenty one at seventy four or seventy four at twenty one. <laughs> Whatever you guys know. He should make it. This guy, harder to say, but this guy should, in fact, make it. Yep. Let's see. Do they want anything I have? Nothing I'm willing to give up. Pretty much nothing I'm willing to give up. They want a slew of picks, and we have plenty this year. We do already have nine total, but I could give up a mid pick. I could, yeah, easily give up a mid to late pick. A five is kind of no man's land. Would I get away with a five? Don't think so. But maybe, and in fact, I'll try to take back a seven. No, woefully insufficient. Even if I remove the seven, yeah, no. It's going to have to be a better pick than a five, which is okay. We'll try a four, and I'm still going to chuck in the seven, just, just to see, and I can always remove it. Okay, yeah. For a four, sure. Yeah, with a four, I could get a medium elite, but pfft. in this draft. So we can still acquire one more pick of some sort. In which case, I will look to see if there's anything else I need to... Ch okay, this guy. Yeah, we can just trade away the low nine. He's a two-way and all, but we got better, too. We have tons and tons of two-ways. Let's throw him away. And just ship him off for a pick from someone. Calgary. Uh, I could just snag a seven. But I can probably get something better than a seven from them. Definitely not a five, but... Hey, with blocks matching, you never know. I want to see what I can get for this guy. Dude. It's going to have to be a 7. And I doubt I can get two 7s. <laughs> Why would I even do that? I, Yeah, it would give me too many picks. That to be from separate years. I, yeah, I, there's no way I'm getting this. I'm just seeing if I possibly can. No, okay. But I can get a 7. So, we'll at least fill that up. We'll do... Ah! Huh. Not even for the other seven? That is technically the later seven. What is happening? What about Philly's next... No, oh, that doesn't fucking help me. Get out of here. All right, Florida wants him. Their seven's going to be worth absolutely nothing. This, If this doesn't work, I'll be very upset. In fact, I'll start with two of them just because I don't know how much difference that value is. And I know we're not going to get two. What the hell? I can't even get a seven for this guy? Well, that sucks. <laughs> He's going to have to beat someone I just throw into an... Uh, I don't even know if it's worth trying to get a seven. I don't think I have anything else. Nah. All right, fuck it. <laughs> Guess not. Okay, now, before, I think that's essentially going to be our deadline. Now I have to call up. Wait, I traded Bluger and I didn't have to. I didn't trade Bluger. Oh, right, they didn't want. I could trade Bluger. <laughs> Yeah. 
because I'm going to call up Jano. I mean, I could send down Bluger and he's good, but he has a little bit of value. Right now, Enkfist is scratched. Wait, where's the other guy? Oh, right, he's CHL. God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my god, we have Zamula playing as a forward. Oh, someone's injured, though. Yeah, Martin's injured. That makes sense. So, yeah, I could... Let me see what value Bluger has. Because I could get... I could end up getting a pick for him. If it, and if I can get a pretty decent pick, I'll be more than happy. I think he had a little bit of value. He does. Like, that. that's a solid chunk, and... We can honestly retain on it, too. Someone can get him for 1.5. Plus deadline stuff. Who wants Bluger? Boston, really. They're trying to push themselves over the top, it seems. Well, I'll take a three off your... Never mind. Jesus. Oh, they're screwed. Yeah, they need to make the playoffs. <laughs> oh, boy. Fuck you, Chicago. No, no Central Division teams. I guess we could trade with the Pacific. Should be able to get a three. Oh, 100%. Can I get a second? No. God damn, why are all the Central Division teams good? Can I get a second? I can't use them all. I can get a second for Bluger. No. No way. Give me your first. Ah. I could get a slightly better second if I look at the right team. It's weird to me that some of these teams want Bluger. Yeah, they're not gonna be. Yeah, but they're not gonna be willing to give up their twos. Okay, no way. It's gonna have to be a pure winner. I was thinking, could I possibly get like a very late first? No. 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 Damn. Yeah, not the only team we could do that with is like. No, nah, none of them have them on the block. Yeah, it's going to have to be a two, which is okay from like a mid team. Yeah, o Oilers seemed like a pretty good bet. Oh, God. No, who was it? Someone who actually had their second. Habs, right? Yeah. That's insane that it's. Can I get a. Dude, if I can get a two and a three, that'd be unreal. I don't think so, but. I can get a two and something, most likely. With that retention. Maybe not. Maybe I'm getting thrown off by the visual. Probably not. I'm honestly just happy with getting a two. I was thinking the retention sent it a bit more above where it was looking. Now, at this point, I just want a seven on principle. That's pretty nut that we got a second for Bluger. That is honestly pretty nuts. Wow. Okay, so what we're going to do is call up Jano. He'll fill the fourth line for now. That is insane, man. Small trades, but I think we gained a lot of good stuff. Throw Jano in. Still no plus. But it's it's okay. I think I have a feeling that line will be slightly better. They're better in the overall wise. And a two-way of power forward and a grinder feels like a better fourth line to me. Now I gotta throw in. That's right, we got Zamula there. I'll probably do a double switch, because I'll likely want to move up Martin now. Yeah. And the other guy can play third line. Jesus, yeah. Pretty much. I can't... Yeah, this guy is so sick. I picked him up to be a depth piece, and hilariously, we have a perfect depth piece in... Uh, Stenbody. I don't know if he'll actually last as that, because he might even get better. Anywho, let's throw in 
Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, let's double switch. What am I talking about? Angfist here. Then I'll throw Zamula in there. Because he's filling in for now. I know it'll be a minus, but it's okay. They have the same face-offs, but I should play him in their position. Or at least Angfist in his position. Okay. That looks good to me. And I don't actually think Bluger... Oh, he was killing penalties? Yeah, with Bulldew. Sh should still be okay. Hopefully our penalty kill doesn't take an absolute nosedive. I don't think it will. It's a, rel it's a small change, all things considered. And, dude, he's better defensively. So if it gets worse, then what the hell? <laughs> okay, so I think that's going to be our deadline here. As I said, quite happy with the moves that we made. They weren't big, but, man, we got two grinders for next to nothing. Both of them are pretty close to being NHL ready as well. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, we are good to continue, I think. Actually, before, I do want to check extensions. I don't think I was waiting on anyone. I pretty much locked in everyone I wanted to. I mean, we could theoretically keep Jano around. Yeah, that's right. We played Jaranko 4 million because we, we knew we weren't going to play him much or at all. But I should keep Jano around for at least another year, I think, if I want him on my fourth line. Oh, that's cheap. Oh, God. it's I can get him two years. Fuck it. We can get him literally for 850 for two years. If I make it a one-way... We can get him for 850. That is nuts. The only issue with that is we'd have to send him up or down in non waiver times because he would get claimed. Fuck me. Would he take a two way? I'll max him out on a two way if he'll take it. I will be shocked if he takes this. That, But that's insane if he takes it. That would give us so much flexibility in our bottom six. Okay. <laughs> Hope like hell he accepts that. I already have McGratton signed. So let's go. Let's uh let's get to the playoffs now. Let's finish the season off, hopefully strong. Wow. I'll take that any day of the week. We beat Chicago, they get a point though. Saros to New Jersey with a six for two seconds. Oh, boy. That's it, Nashville, huh? Looks like New Jersey still doesn't have goaltending. <laughs> Whoa! Team Meyer to Philly with a third. For Cam York, Forster, Noah Gregor, and a third. Okay, Philly? Okay to both of those teams. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Wow! <laughs> Vegas. Pick up a second. Some dude named Howard, a seventh for Denisenko and Ty Emerson going to Colorado. What a busy trade deadline. We don't really need any defenseman whatsoever. He's fine, but we don't need him. We lost. That's unfortunate. Central Division team. Team trying to catch us. Martin goes back in. Alright, come on now. Haskins is also back, so Spr Springfield's back to full strength. There we are. Oh my god, Skilly's gonna make it? I didn't think he was gonna. His awareness is a bit low. I really didn't think he was gonna make it. He grew, like, really well that one year. We got excited, and then he fell off, but he's actually gonna make it. Good god. Look at that offense. Alright, let me do some scouting real quick. Alright, moving on here. We got a point and a loss to the Bruins and lost to Florida, but we answer back with 
Huge wins. Alright. Odds injured, but just a mild concussion. Stenbetty will hop in. And he can play friggin' anywhere. I love it. Oh, okay. It was lying. Oh, that sucks. Outlaw, so I gotta throw in a defenseman because that's all I got for depth in the A. Should've just went. Yeah, let's do Jack. Uh, uh, excuse me, punch faces. It probably would have auto-inserted him in. Oh man, we got crushed by Ottawa. Can't do that. I wonder if that was McGratton in that game. <laughs> Anytime we get crushed, I just assume it's McGratton. Oh, Doshdal's save percentage. He's played 70 games? I mean, why? This isn't the fucking 90s, man. <laughs> Great, he's gonna be tired as hell come the playoffs, isn't he? Stop it! Ugh. Main guys getting injured is absolutely heartbreaking. Fortunately, ooh, Misa's an 88. Fortunately, Stenbetty's offensive stats are out of this goddamn world. So, uh, Varlamov, time for you to score a shit ton of goals here. Yeah. Could give Ott some more ice time. God damn. But I want Stenbetty to get some second line time. Yeah, they're going to feed Varlamov right now. Tough losses, man. Go Dude, our, ooh, our defense has kind of gone out the window here at the end of the season, which I don't like to see. And is Geno somehow worse for that fourth line? No, he's he's a plus. It's not, it's not, the, it's not the fourth line. He's improved the fourth line. Come on, win. We got to get hot going into the playoffs. Oh, come. All right. Mild concussion. Thank goodness. But seriously? Is Darling back? Darling's back. Okay. We don't really have a goal scorer. So what I'm going to do is do a... Uh, wait. Yeah, it's essentially a double switch. And then I'll double switch him back. Yeah, that should be fine. What's going on? What's this crap? Yes. Um, Darling will go in here, and then when I switch him back, that should be correct. Right? Yeah, that'll be correct. Okay. Yep. Good. Ha! Ah, we got Joe Laurel fired. Ah, we lost, but still okay end of the season, I guess. Not great, man. It wasn't the strongest end of the season, I'm not going to lie. But hopefully, we pull things together for the playoffs. See, I don't like going in the playoffs on a cold streak. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's not ice cold, but we haven't been playing the best. We are 49-24-9, though, so it's almost a 50-win season. It's really not that bad, but... What could have been, right? Let me advance today. Please, Shirkov. Thank goodness. Okay, Shirkov will be back for game one. Let me just get that sorted. So this is going to be a double switch. Darling for Shirkov. Stenbody, how'd you do? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh, he's showing his playoff stats. Dude, he had 12 points in 15 games played. That's why I have him. Insane depth piece. There was space for him, man. But, like, look at this goddamn season Ott had. 30 goals. <laughs> feel like we have enough uh, playmakers. or guys who play make, you know. Misa. Thomas. Kairou. Bolduk Dvorsky probably both lean that direction. Ott, Darling, Shirikov. Now Varlamov. I mean, we do have a good... Yeah, but you take out one of these guys who can put up goals for Stenbody. I... <sighs> It's tough. It's tough to do. It really is. So yeah, it, it sucks to have him scratched, but he's, an, he's a hell of a depth piece. <laughs> it's absolutely insane for a depth piece.
Anyway, let's check the end of the season stats. No one hit 100 points, but Kyrie had 95. We had 107 point season, eight, uh, 3.8 .8 goals for, yeah, 304. That definitely went up goals against wise. Power play 23.5, penalty kill 86.1. So penalty kill was still solid. Let's see how we stacked up across the league. We were third, uh, fourth in the NHL. Goals four, top three, goals against. Still in the top five. Okay. We were still in the top five. Power play. We were in the top five in our power play. Penalty kill. In the top five. So we are a top five team in every major category. That's pretty good. Ooh, we got to start learning how to win on the road. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, we got to start learning how to win on the road. All right. Kairou, 95 points. Thomas, 93 with 30 goals. Hybrid guy. Misa, 79 points, 60 assists. Almost at 20 goals, too. Shirakov didn't. Oh, man, you missed one game. Would that have one game been the one he scored 40 on? 77 points, though. Not too shabby. Varlamov, 62 points, 31 goals. Yep, I'd say he was absolutely ready. And looks like he grew even more. Unless that's stat growth. Bolduc, 57 points. Not too bad. Darling, only 50. But he had 30 goals. Ott, 46, 30 goals. Dvorsky, 42 points. Our fourth line, only Farmer. No power play time either. He had 17 goals, 25 points, minus 14. Jano. How did their minuses get worse and somehow Jano's a plus? That is a little weird, isn't it? Maybe they didn't. Maybe they were, were I don't know. Huh. Interesting. And Stanbiddy was a friggin' fantastic depth piece. We can always insert him in the playoffs if we want to change things up. Defensively, Warrenski had 54 points. Tucker with 39. Dickinson, 37. They're becoming nice little two-way guys here. Lindstein had 20, but was a fantastic plus. And kind of wherever McCabe is. We don't have great plus vitus. Hopefully, they turn on for the plans. But Kalti Einen, uh, It's not showing his stats because he's not here. But I think, yeah, it was just better. The other guy, well, Saprikin was not ready yet. Doshtal's numbers continue to kind of fall off. McGratton, ugh. We, like, couldn't, dude. Like, Doshtal played 76 games. He kept having to come into fucking relief for McGratton. That is not great. That's not exactly what you want. Like, why does the game play him that goddamn much? He only technically didn't play six games? Come on. Learn, learn to rotate. Wilemov has a shot at that Calder, dude. He really does. He really does. Let's see what happened throughout the league on the forward end of things. Matthews had 110 points, another 60-goal season at age 31. The question is, will he break Ovi's record? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's the same thing. 652. He needs another, like, 400 goals, I think. Ovi hit a thousand at least, yeah. I wish there's a record book. Is there a record book in franchise mode? I don't think so. Uh, Pedersen at 107, McDavid 107, Bedard 106, Marner 105, JT Miller 104, Nylander 103. Good gracious, goal leader, pretty sure. Wow, Matthews and Bedard tied, so they split the Richard, right? Assist leader Barzal was 76. What the hell was he feeding? Where's the aisle? Huh. Must have been like two different guys. Yeah, I don't care enough to check more. Let's check who's the most clutch. Mathematically, Lafreniere. Yeah. Geez, almost one for three. We're game winners. Uh, power play goal leader was Matthews with 21. What a merchant. Power play point totals. McDavid with 37. Not a merchant. Best player in the world. Uh, shorties. Five for JT Miller. 
Shorty points. Probably JT Miller. Yep. And Petters. Oh, yeah. That's filth. <laughs> that's a scary PK unit. Pretty good defensively. And goddamn, can they go the other way? I think it's Pedersen's 30, by the way. That's where we are. All right, let's check the Selkie candidates. Crosby, age 41, still top six potential. Crosby's looking pretty good for it so far. Uh, gotta love the menu lag, the menu lag, the menu lag. Gotta love that menu lag. Makes it possible to scroll. scroll. Fucking hell. All right, Crosby. Um, yeah, Hughes for Norris because we all know plus minus is much more important than uh, six additional points. So therefore, Hughes better than Fox as it is in real life. Look at Drysdale. Good for you. Have I mentioned Adam Fox is overrated? <laughs> All right, let's check out the goalies. Jesper Wallstead. Good gracious. He's taking them all the hardware. Even has more shutouts than everyone. Look at that. A healthy 61 games played. And there's Lukas Dostal. He's like the dumb. He's like the dumb head of the Hydra. Cool head, cool head, and dumb head right here. And it's not his fault we played him 76 games. It's our coach and poor McGrath. <laughs> All right, Rooks. Oh, fuck you. Who are you? Victor France. Oh, okay. Franchise sniper. That makes sense. <laughs> Good God. A 90 point season with 48 goals. It, it's, it wasn't a race for the Calder. Varlamov, any other year, probably wins it. But uh, Victor Franzen for LA is an absolute monster. Drafted first overall in 2027. He has come into his own in the NHL. Disgusting. Rookie goalies. Barnison, not bad, man. Those numbers, considering. Pretty sick. Yeah, he should actually grow another overall or two, too. He'll be a bona fide number one. Sweet. All right, let's do the fun stats here. Hits. All right, here you go, Ridley Grieg. Not a complete soft league, but close. Close. 175 of those were against Morgan Riley. Fights. Oh, my God. Two-way. Two-way! Uh, Sergei Volchenkov. Only one actually in double digits. Poor Jan. Oh, Jano got three fights in the time he came up here. Let's go. Uh, oh, Ariel Tucker fights. Let's go. Okay. Now, I do want to actually check the AHL. See if any of our guys are up there. Oh, um, yeah. I'm still looking at fights. I was like, the fuck Jack I had that? What the hell was he doing? Um. Yeah, we weren't really up here whatsoever. What the heck? That's actually kind of nuts. What? What did I eat? Actually, it's probably quicker just to do this. What did our AHL team do? Oh, boy. Not a whole lot of scoring. Not really a scoring type team, are they? What was their record? Or what is their record? Because their season's ongoing. That's a good record. Must be just sick defensively. Anywho, we need to prepare for the playoffs now. You can get a look at the playoff tree. We are taking on divisional rival, the Wild. Avs in Chicago, Oilers, LA. Canucks in Winnipeg. And in the East... Canes, Philly, Rangers, Lightning. Oh, man. <laughs> Battle of Ontario. And uh, the Habs and the Panthers. Sweet. All right, Minnesota. What do you got for us? What do you got for us? Oh, 
Kaprizov, Rossi, Boldy, Erickson, Ak, Yonala, and uh, Hartman. That is a, oh my god. This is a, dis who the hell is this guy? Ah, he is the first overall from 24. Whew. They're pretty sick. Defensively, they fall off a bit, but oh, it's fine. Because they, they're balanced still. Faber, Uyghur, oh man. And they had Jesper Wallstead. Jesus, I think we're going to run into a brick wall here in this first round. <laughs> Holy crap. Their depth is even pretty good. And Jonas Brodin is now 35 in this. Jeez. Holy crap. Like Kaprizov, Sniper, Rossi, two-way, Boldy, power forward. Oh, God, that's a nightmare line to play against. They just have a nightmare team. Two-way here, power forward, and then Hartman is a two-way with Truculence. They're just going to beat the shit out of us. They're bluesing better than we are. <laughs> I, took, I took this team in a slightly different way. We got the power forwards and shit. We got a hitting Sniper. Good God. All right, let's see what happens. I am curious what's going to happen in this first round. We have the whole mice advantage, which is good for us because we are much better on whole mice this season. We'll see if it matters against this team who look incredibly tough on paper. Game one. <laughs> they ran the goalie. Game one, they ran the goalie. Fucking prick. A real concussion, too. Okay, well, we know what we're doing. I'm not even going to put McGratton in there. I have zero trust for, with him. We are immediately throwing in Jarenko. This is what we have him for. He hasn't played all season, but he's going to kill it. He's going to fucking kill it. Did we win that game? At least we won the game. No wonder they ran our goalie. We are stumping him. Oh, now Jarenko has to be in net. What pricks. Game two. <laughs> well, their strategy kind of worked. McGratton actually did good in relief. Depending on when the heck he came in, Jarenko got blown out of the water. Do I give the kid a shot? Since he seemingly did pretty good in relief the last game. Phil Ott, player performer. Need that third line. I didn't check growth. My bad. <laughs> He got yanked. Not like McGrath did any better. I got I gotta give Zarenko another shot. That's that's not fair. He faced four fucking shots. <laughs> oh, that's what you get for putting in a goaltender who hasn't played all year. Alright, uh take two on the road. We haven't been great there. If he sucks again, we'll have to Well, we won't have to find anything out. Zarenko's work is done. <laughs> He faced four shots allowed, three goals. Doshdal, get your ass back in there. Oh, we lost. Oh, man, we can't score now. We got to take a look at that. That's two straight games where we cannot score. Phil Ott can't be our offense. What's going on here? Three assists. One point. Two points. One point. Ugh. Hmm. We lose chemistry if we do that, which is not great. Well, we got to do something. One point only, darling, huh? Well, Ott's killing it on that line. I kind of don't want to break that line up. Yeah, that's the kind of one line that's working. I'm actually thinking about shifting Varlamov down just to get a two-way presence in here. Hopefully Misa just connects with Darling all over the place. No sniper, which is unfortunate. Yeah, we don't need another goal score on the third line. Yeah, I kind of don't want to break it up. But we have to do something. First pairing is getting demolished. Let's go Wierenski Tucker and just play the fucking breaks off of him. Yeah, we gotta split up Tucker and Dickinson. Lindstein was doing good there. 
Yeah, it's not minus. I gotta do something offensively. I have to just not worry about chemistry. Minus three with like no points. So you're getting demolished. Let's see if you get a more favorable matchup. We'll see if Misa and Kairu can just feed Shirakov over and over. Who only has three assists? How are you not getting goals? Score. Yeah, I'm going to try shifting Thomas down. Maybe some more favorable matchups. Who knows? Get some more defensive presence here. Not that we have any defensive presence on the top line, but that's not what we're paying for. Now that we've loaded the top pairing, right? That should theoretically... Well, we'll see. It's not the biggest change. But shifting the one and two Cs could be enough, and it could create a whole lot of different matchups for us. Just try to get enough skill to be able to survive against their shutdown, which, pff, good luck. Clearly. They got Wallstedt plus a sick offensive core who has, yeah, they could just run you over. This could just be a tough series. We had one good game. Oh, game four on the road. We need, to, we, need to, we need to get this split right here. It's hard to come back from three games to one down. We did it. 5-3 victory. Good win. Even series, pivotal game five, home ice, which we've been good on throughout the season. We don't talk about that. Come on, big game five. Ah, tough loss. Keeping the puck out of the net is a disaster. But look what Shirakov's done. Look at what he's done in the last couple games. Fuck, I feel like this is the combination. I do feel like this is the combination. I just kind of have to trust it. I can't do much more. Oh man, Varlamov. Fuck. I'm gonna do something a little bit crazy here. Hmm. Yeah, three points and five isn't bad. Let's get Bolduke onto the second. Dvorsky can play middle. Just a little, another little change here. Varlamov two points isn't enough. Dvorsky just hasn't done much. It's probably mostly power play production that they're getting. So we're going to try something else on that third line. Such as this. Get Bolduke up there. They get better chemistry. Two shutdown type guys. And I'm leaving this fucking line. What the hell? You only got one point since then? Whatever. Yeah. I don't know how he only had one point since then. Since Shirakov just went off. Whatever. I don't care. It's working. Alright. Game six. Must win. Must win the force of game seven on home ice. Three, two win in overtime. Seemed like the defense was better. We have forced a game seven against the Minnesota Wild. If it, if nothing else, we have shown some incredible fight. It's been win loss. Oh, never mind. We lost two straight. Must win game. Come on, St. Louis. Headshot our way to victory. Let's find let's find the uh, playoff strategy of old here. Oh man, they're out shooting us early on. Dostal's closing the door so far. Power play for St. Louis and Darling gets a big goal. They get a power play in return, a five on three even, but we shut the door. That strong penalty kill all year pays off in spades here in game seven. 14 shots to 10, they outshot us, but we have the only marker. It's a great first period. It's a great start. We got two more to go here. Second period. Power play to start things off, and Yunala ties things up on the power play. Yeah, they're kind of dominating shot-wise. Another power play for them. Too many penalties. Oh, my God. <sighs> Cormier gets another. Our penalty kill fails us. But, my God, special teams, the story. Phil Ott with another huge goal late in the second period. 
little over a minute after Cormier's to tie things up. That is massive, even footing headed to the third period. Let's win this five on five. Come on, guys. Stay out of the box. We got to get a five on five goal here. Come on, St. Louis. Oh, my God. Fuck me. How many power plays are they getting in this game? Hartman. Gives them the lead. Our penalty kill is lights out all year, by the way. And that'll do it, won't it? Oh, they get the only power play of the period, do they? Mackenzie Wegar with an empty netter. Go fuck yourself. Wait. No, no, no. I just want to see. Yeah. Elbowing on Farmer, holding, let's see. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven penalties against us. Three against them. Oh, one of them's a fighting. Jano and Hartman fought. So they had two. Two penalties and we had six. Hmm. Okay. Sure, the fans were happy about that. Yeah, Esper Wallstead's good and all, but that that's that's this is kind of some bullshit. All right, Minnesota, you're on our fucking list. Minnesota is officially our number one rival here. Minnesota is officially our number one rival for that bullshit. It ain't their fault, but it's going down. Look look at how nasty that game was. Elbowings, a fight in a game seven. I mean, that's a that's an incredible job by Jano to sucker Hartman into a fight, and that fucker still gets oh, has a major goal, and they still win. That's just that's just a veteran move by Jano, but we fall short in round one of the playoffs. But goddamn, Shirakov did his utmost. Shirakov Misa, what a combo that could be, huh? Uh, it's unfortunate that it came to an end, though. Hey, Doshtal, where were you? Yeah, he, he was uh, not good at the end of the season. That carried on to the playoffs. Power play was solid. If only we got some more chances in that game. Like, they, they scored all three of their goals that weren't empty and on the power play. I can't fucking... What? 63.6% .6 on the PK when we were a top. That's what happens. This is why I don't care about having a good penalty kill because it is a roll the goddamn dice in the playoffs. Technically, we had more power plays that entire series, so I guess I can't be pissed, but for that to happen in the game seven that way. And then we re reverse of the regular season. Ugh. Man, that's a heartbreaker. But uh, this, is, this is a good sign for the future. Shirakov with 11.6 goals in seven games. A lot of penalties, though. Got 86 discipline. That is the downside <laughs> of all the hits he lays, I guess. Kairu, eight points. Ott, seven points with six goals. Pfft. This was a guy I was like, man, if he doesn't show me something, he might be on the way out. But, like, dude, I think at this point, he may be a little irreplaceable. Darling, four points. He hasn't wowed me yet, man. There's a third round selection. He's still kind of farting around between like second line not gaining x factors not growing bolduke four points thomas four needed more out of thomas farlamov rookie needed more out of misa when we did the line moves like shirkov went off but i guess he's connecting with kairu i don't know but lacking depth scoring Dvorsky, pretty disappointing but again and no power play time but still pretty disappointing from the skill of that third line to not get a Couple more points. Wierenski had five. Tucker, four. Dickinson had none. Was severely minus. Okay, you know what? At the end of all things, Doshtal didn't actually do bad at all. Huh. That's much better than I expected his stats to be. I guess we just got, I guess he just got peppered. My bad for calling you out in the stat screen. I saw that number and thought there was no goddamn way, but then you got to remember, 
Jarenko exists, allowing three goals on fucking four shots. McGratton didn't do awful. He was at least consistent. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Jarenko. <laughs> I mean, what do I expect not playing him all year? I mean, yeah, that would make sense in real life, but this is a video game. <laughs> but he, it's just the funniest coincidence that we don't play him all year. We throw him into the playoffs and he allows three goals on four shots. <laughs> Oh my god. And don't even tell me EA programs that. Don't tell me I should have expected that. It's EA. They no, that's not a thing. Oh, don't you dare start in the comments section with me. <laughs> all right, well, at the end of all things, still still a successful season. Again, we took a tough team to game 7. Yeah, we had the home ice advantage. We had the bag of the regular season, but it was, you know, it was close. They have a much more experienced team than we do. Let's be real. You saw that lineup compared to ours, but we got some playoff experience now. I did want to check some progress reports because I think we got a lot more growth from a lot. Yeah, that's that's Michael Misa. I don't think. Okay, the stack growth did kick in. Damn. But I think he still got more for some from some other places. But yeah, stack growth kicked in. Darling has a bit of stack growth. No natural. He's worrying me. Ought all stat. He's pro man. So he's propped up by that. Well, we know his stack growth now. If he jumps, then that should be natural jump, right? Bolduke's got a bit of stack growth. Should maintain it. Barlamov, no stat, all natural. I like that. A little bit of morale up, but he gets another solid jump. He could absolutely become the second liner that we wanted him to be. That's really all we wanted. Second liner, hopefully gain some X-Factors. Yeah, we know that stat. Neighbors is going to be stat. Doshtal stat. Still just stat minuses. He's not looking great, at least in this system. Stat minuses, but that should be erased. I need him to get another jump. Or start growing again next year. I'm not going to give up on him. He's 22. And he played He played pretty well with Tucker throughout the year. And Grattan. <laughs> How does he have positive morale? Shirakov got no growth, but again, not worried. He got actually no stack growth? Okay. I guess, and yeah, he's got the expected points from a 90 overall. All right. Quincy had a tremendous growth year. He is NHL ready. <laughs> Gonna have a bit of a log jam. Stajan. Yeah, he grew throughout the course of this year. Um, didn't. I don't think grow grew since we picked him up. No, he's in Mississauga. Yeah, he was 76 when we picked him up. Fitzgerald got a bit. Springus got a bit. Wolf the Dennis Stanton. Just kidding. Um needs the awareness to get up more, but it is technically growing at a higher rate. This guy's pretty fucking sick. What the hell did I draft him? What is he? Low elite in the fourth round. 27. Yeah, I guess that was one of the weaker years. Yeah, I think I was like an off-the-board pick. Guy I tried to trade. Why did, why, why did no one want him? Look at how he's growing. Fucking idiot. It's not even for a seventh. Imagine. Takashi. Did I pick that guy up as an extra or something? I have no idea. <laughs> Coburn. Paris. Decent growth out of them. Christensen got some okay growth for a high star. Yeah, not bad, actually. Especially for a just-drafted guy. Enkfist, um, he grew more. He was a 74 when we acquired him. He grew even more. God damn, this could turn... Those two, those two guys could turn out to be absolute beasts in our bottom six. That's what I'm hoping for. Sexsmith. Geisberger. Mayor. Mayor Geisberger looking more like trade pieces. Outlaw. That's just so many prospects. Oblane. Okay. Are we missing anyone? I don't think so. A little bit from Martin. A little bit from Twomanen, but he's done. Yet another. I think he's a playmaker and he's like a winger, so it's like meh. Legitimately. Uh, okay. Tank Rat. That sucks. It's a guy we just drafted. And Saprikan. Buddy, need you to do something. Didn't grow in the NHL, didn't grow in the AHL. Come on, man. 
was really hoping you could be a quick grower, potent possible potential changer. But right now, you're not looking great. Nothing from Buckinger, but he might be just done. Nothing from Leanders. Vashinov got slight amount of growth. Okay. That's some sick growth, I'm not gonna lie. Like, all for all things considered, pretty damn good growth. We got a medium elite steel to actually pan out. Those, it can be rare for those, like, mid-round medium elite steels to actually pan out into something. Which is why I often use them as trade value. Uh, I did want to check the draft class as well, so you guys have an idea of what we're looking at. And I can see if my scouts got anything extra. Yes, indeed. There we go. And that's a strong possibility right there, who I'm going to pin. Halpern, 17. Five-year ETA. Power forward. Howden, 17. Possible X-Factor medium elite with five-year ETA? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Nothing else on the way of mediums. Same to lowly. It's a possible right here. He's kind of in between ranges, though. It is, yeah, you can see him 100 plus, but it depends on the draft class. It's usually 150 plus. Eh, maybe. Maybe. Any cool top six steals? Nope. Could be actually a good thing. A gem DFD. No X factors, so I don't really care. That's not too bad. They the scouts have turned it around a bit. Can't really argue with two medium elites and then a possible third one on the way. <laughs> Can't really argue with that. So the draft will be in the next episode. Uh, and uh, from here on in, it's all about playoffs for us. We expect to make the playoffs every single season, and we will do whatever we can to do just that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.